Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, I'll show you how to create the blog list page of your website. So here if you scroll down and if you go to our blog posts, here we can see we have this uh, button called View All Posts. And when we click on that button, we should go to a list of all our blog posts. So here I have created this design for the list of the blog posts. And here we can see all the blog posts are displayed over here. And on the right side, we have this sidebar where we have some widgets, we have some popular posts, we have recent comments, and we have the categories and a download button. And the header and the footer are the same. So we're going to design this in this video. Let's get started. Alright, here I'm in my source code and let's go to the index.html file and if you scroll down, let's go to the blog section. So here we have the blog section and uh, let's go to the button. So here we have this button called view all posts and here we'll just add a link called bloglist.html and let's create a new HTML file called bloglist.html and uh, now let's go ahead and copy the header and the footer from here. So let's copy from this line of code till the end of the nav and let's paste it over here and uh, here after the nav we need to close the container and I think it has automatically done that. So now let's go back and let's copy the footer. So here we have the footer. Let's copy it from here till the end of the footer tag and also the script tag from here. And let's paste it over here just after this div. And now let's go ahead and open this. So let's go to our website and let's click on view all posts. And here we are in the blog list page. Right, now let's start writing the HTML for this blog list page. So let's go to our HTML file and here let's go outside the nav division and uh, let's tap end of nav over here. And here the first thing we will do is we'll create a division with the class of post container and in that we will have a division with the class of container and in this we will have a division with the class of content for all the content of the blog posts. And then on the right side, we need to have the sidebar. So we'll create an aside tag. And here we'll just type sidebar for now. And uh, right now it is not being displayed because it is behind this uh, nav bar. So let's go ahead and continue writing the HTML. So let's go to the content and here, let's create a division with the class of blog list. And in that we will have an H2 and let's tap all posts. And after that, let's go ahead and create a division with the class of cards container. And in that we will have cards for each of the blog posts. So let's create a division with the class of card. And in that the first thing we need to have is the thumbnail. So let's create an anchor tag. And here we need to add the link of the blog post. So I'll just add hash for now. And here let's create an IMG tag and let's add the source. So we type images forward slash blog one dot jpg. And after that, let's create a div with the class of blog list content and in this we need to have the heading the labels and this paragraph so let's go ahead and create an anchor tag for the heading and here let's create an s3 for the heading and let's go ahead and copy the heading from here so i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it over here and after that we need to have the labels so let's create a labels division and uh, in that we will have anchor tags for each of the labels. And uh, let's copy these labels from here. So if you go to the index.html file, if you go to the blog section, here we have the blog. So I'll just copy these two anchor tags from here and let's paste it inside this labels division. And uh, now let's go ahead and copy the paragraph. So let's create a P tag. And let's copy this text and paste it over here. So now we can see we have all the content. Let's go ahead and add a couple more posts. So let's just copy this card division from here. And I'll just paste it around four to five times. And let's make some changes in the content. Now this content should be automatically retrieved when we are using this in a template or a theme. But for now, we are just creating the design. So I'll just add it as it is. 
so i'll just type blog 2.jpg over here and uh, let's change the heading and uh, we need to add the labels as game dev and animations and let's paste the text over here and here let's type blog 3 dot jpg and let's go ahead and copy this heading from here let's paste it over here and we have networking and advanced for the labels so let's type networking and advanced and let's paste the content over here and i'll just go ahead and copy the first and the second blog post so that we have some content to work with and let's delete these uh, cards and let's paste the content over here and if you go back to our design here we can see all the content are displayed now on the right side we need to have the sidebar but first of all let's go ahead and style this uh, left section so let's go to our style or css file and let's scroll down and here let's create a comment i'll just type blog list page and the first thing we will do is we will style the container division which is inside page container so first of all we need to add some margin top for this uh, container because uh, it is being displayed below this nav bar here let's tap post container because we have a division with a class of post container over here and uh, in that we have the container division so let's tap container and here let's go ahead and type margin top of 100 pixels now the nav bar has also shifted down so let's go to the nav and uh, here we need to add a top of zero and now the nav bar is at the top all right let's go back and uh, let's go to the container and here let's add a padding of 40 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right and uh, let's go ahead and add a margin bottom so let's type margin bottom of 60 pixels and let's add a box shadow of 0, 08 pixels 42 pixels rgba 000 and 0 0.1 and let's also add a padding bottom so let's tap padding bottom of 60 pixels right now we need to display this uh, block content on the left side and the sidebar on the right side so for that let's type display of flex and let's add a gap of 40 pixels between the elements and here we can see we have the sidebar and here we have all the blog posts now for the sidebar we will have a fixed width so let's tap aside and uh, let's set the width to 300 pixels right now let's go ahead and style this heading so for the heading we have an h2 so let's go ahead and type post container h2 and let's set the font size to 28 pixels and let's add a margin bottom of 20 pixels but right, now let's style these blog cards so here we can see we have this division of the class of card now we need to have this image on the left side and the blog list content on the right side so let's target it i'll just type blog list card and let's set the display to flex and uh, let's align items to the center now for the image we need to have a fixed width and height so let's tap blog list card image and uh, let's set the height to 160 pixels and let's set the width to 240 pixels and let's see how it looks now we need to also add object fit of cover so that we have the correct proportions for the image so let's go to the image selector and here let's type object fit cover so it will target all the images and set the object fit to cover and uh, now we can see that the images look all right all right now let's add some padding for this blog list content so here we have this division of the class of blog list content so let's target that and just type blog list blog list content and let's add a padding of zero top and bottom and uh, 24 pixels left and right right now let's target the container division of the card which is cards container so let's type blog list cards container and let's set the display to flex and the flex direction to column and let's add a gap of 32 pixels 
And now the labels are not being styled correctly. So if you go to our CSS and if you go to labels, here we can see that for the labels, we have added a selector of blog labels. So it will only target the labels inside the blog section. So I'll just go ahead and delete blog from here. So now it will target all the labels. So now we can see that the labels are being displayed correctly. And with that, we have styled the blog list of our website. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to style this sidebar and we'll also make it responsive in the next video. So here we can see that if we decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. We don't have the sidebar displayed on the right side, but if you scroll down, we have the sidebar displayed at the bottom. So we will do this in the next video. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.